The Su-57 was intended by Russia to be their newest, fanciest, top-of-the-line Gen 4 to 4.5 series fighter. But it's not a true Gen 5 machine dot dot that was just something they hoped they could make it into dot dot that they could stretch it that far in copying the shaping and faceting of F-22 and hope to make it viable dot dot hope to reap the rewards of all the West's R&D dot dot. But in a jet with enough homegrown flavor to still make it unique to Russia. We all know now that's not the case, and while it may be a perfectly competent machine and given an equally competent pilot, it may serve them just as well as any other fighter. Even they now admit it isn't worth the time, effort, and cost to pursue dot dot especially with no export customers wanting the Su-57. So, it was clearly never genuinely in the same league as F-2 or F-35. They had trouble with even the engines and metallurgy, much less true AESA radar tech or the true construction quality required for stealthy, LOLO observabilities tech. K ask India. Who were the only real potential export customers originally interested in considering them dot dot until they got their own, first real good looks and tests in dot dot and their decision was a very quick out. None of the supposed 5th gen capabilities or advanced features the Rusdians claimed the Su-57 had or might even be upgradable to just didn't exist. All of the capabilities it did have were the dame as everyone else's standard, 4th gen aircraft dot dot and no more advanced than a basic 1990s F-16. But with all the usual Russian tech, IRSTS and some improved capabilities for HOBS high off-bore sight missile launching. But this was not unique to the Felon, most of Russia's newer fighters were being revamped with this as their new standard, but it's also still a relatively old standard by comparison to others. And it's even more noticeable now than ever before that the Russians and Chinese have both been blatantly plagiarizing and copying all of their best ideas from the West dot dot as well as each other. China has been doing this with their Russian-made fighter engines for decades now, trying to play catch-up. Even the SDI tech that the Chinese cyber stole from the F-35 supersonic diverterless intake tests, first conducted on F-16s and started putting on many of their own machines dot dot lots of copied and stolen ideas but without being able to fully replicate the true article at its full unadulterated capability. To be able to run with that pack, you have to be able to innovate technologies and capabilities dot dot not just imitate them. Because you're always just playing catch up otherwise. It's innovation that keeps the West ahead in tech, aided by the fact that we share many benefits and ideas and achievements between our friends and other allied countries. We have a huge amount of sharing involved with the entire JSF program and the F-35 fighter it all got put into. Lots of nations helping with both the workload, the costs, and the expertise and innovation. Russia just doesn't have most of that arete.